Uh, in one of other videos, uh, we already discussed about Go Mod Replace Directive. Uh, in this one, I want to combine uh, Go Mod Replace uh, with Dockerfile. So ba basically, my goal is uh, to have a separate Dockerfile uh, for each Go application. Um, and in the case of Go Web Frameworks, what I have is in my root directory, I have multiple Go applications. And each of them might have, let's say, for Iris or for Echo, I, I, I have Docker file, and, and my goal is to have them uh, in isolation. So they don't depend on each other, and also they don't dep depend on folder structure. So basically, I don't have to keep them on, on my root directory or, or in on any other separate directory. Uh, because why I'm saying this? Because if we put this Docker file on on the root directory, we can actually access both this one and this package. But the thing is, since we want to keep it in inside in subdirectory, we will be limited to the context of this this directory. Um, so uh, let me show a solution, and then we can um, implement it for another. Like basically, what I have now, I have implementation for Iris. Uh, we will we will review it and then we will check how we can implement it for another uh, Go application. So basically what I have uh, in my Go mod replace, I have uh, this replace directive, which says that for this application, when you see this import path, uh, you need to go one step up and use a package uh, folder, a package module in this case. Uh, this folder contains all the shared code for all, each of these applications, like models in memory, in memory storage, and etc. Um, and and that's it basically. So when we run this application locally, um, it will run successfully, and for this import, it will use our local directory. That's it. So now one step forward, what we want to do, we want to have Docker file, and build this application as a, as a Docker. Docker container, Docker application. And let me show make file. So my Docker command is, uh, I build this uh, image uh, in this directory, and then I run it and expose this 8080 port. So, but, but since we have uh, this replace directive, if I don't do one trick, uh, this Docker file, let me show uh, this Docker file. This Docker file will not have access to our another folder, which is this package. So basically, let me show what I mean. So if I go to echo, where I don't have this implementation, um, and and basically we can also leave this, this step here. So what I will do here, I will for now remove this vendor uh, we don't need it for now. Uh, move the trash, yes. So let's go one step back. Uh, use echo. Uh, this is uh, this also Go application. So this is repository, Go Web Frameworks, and and this is a directory. I will include all the links in the description. Um, so what I I do now, I will say let's just copy paste uh, from make file. So I will say, build this application for me. So while it's building, let's just double check our Docker file. So now we are in echo in this, uh, in this application. Uh, very, I don't have yet implementation for this problem. Uh, and problem is uh, we have package dependency, which is in another directory. So we don't have access from Docker file. And our Docker file looks like this. We, we do like um, standard steps, like we use Golang, we set some environment variables, we do some updates. Uh, then we set our uh, work directory then we say copy everything here uh, to the container and then do run. Uh, basically, this is, I also can do without mod vendor, um, result will be same. And result is being that um, at this moment, it doesn't have um, 
seeing the vendor directory around and go main vote mod vendor. Yeah. So what what happens is um, let, let's let's try to fix this uh, as it uh, suggests. So we do go uh, mod uh, vendor. Um, and maybe I can skip uh, no cache step. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so this is this is our issue. So when, um, so basically what's happening, our go mod vendor command doesn't uh, know where to find this package. And the problem is being that uh, this directory is not present in our in our um, in our container. So one way to solve this would be we say like copy package uh, to our local and then, then like copy it in a way like uh, like correct one would be, go src and package for example and then like in terms of uh, relative paths everything would be okay but only problem is uh, we can't actually access this because our context as you can uh, notice is limited to the to, to current current directory which is echo folder um, another way to solve this uh, or try to solve this is would be like we, we locate our docker file one step above uh, and then we have access to all these folders, uh, but but in this in, in the context of this project, I want I don't want to do it this way because I want to keep each of these Docker files isolated from each other, so they they run in their uh, own context, they don't depend on each other, and they also don't depend on external structure. And and the way to solve it, um, so now. Or just for a second, let's f uh, switch to the Iris folder. In this folder, I solved in this application. I solved this problem, and the solution is actually quite simple. What I am doing, I am before running any Docker, I say locally, I want to uh, clean up my uh, package structure, package dependencies, and then vendor. So basically, I don't use normal Go mode, but I use uh, vendor mode. Um, and then in my Docker file, so let's check Docker file for for this application. Uh, everything I need to do is, since I have everything present in this folder, uh, I can just say go install, and this will um, this will know where to find this package and all this because it's in vendor mode. So let's do this. Uh, let's go back to Iris. Uh, we will run it and then we will solve our uh, issue for another application. So if I do make docker, so while it's installing, uh, I know this topic is a bit complicated. So if you have uh, got any questions, please let me know in discussion session. Um, so if needed, I can do another follow-up for this. Uh, I will link also another video where I, in isolation, explain Go Mod Replace. Uh, I, I use the same uh, project for this. Um, we can also, I can also show you um, one of the uh, other projects. Like uh, for for this Go Mem UI, I also use uh, Go Mod Replace. So. Uh, you can also check this uh, as an example. Um, it's very it's, it's a simple uh, uh, example. So let's go back. It's still building. Yeah. So now it's running. So we can see. Yeah. So we can see we have this application running on this port. We can actually try to check it here. I will do curl. And I think it's entities if I remember correctly. Yeah. So this is uh, this is this is working version, and let's now apply this working implementation to another application, which is uh, which is this directory here. And basically, we we need to very 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 simple steps. First, let's align our make files. So now we know that for for Docker, we will need to have we will need to be in vendor mode. 
So I will be copy passing this part here. Actually, I already did. So we have already this implementation. So we have this mod thing. We have a Docker part. So we will build Docker application with another name. It's Echo. Um, actually, I can also remove uh, no cache part, so we can speed up it a bit. And now, what I need to do, I need to uh, change this part a little and do um, do this go uh, install. So uh, yeah, that's it. So and now let's try. Uh, let's stop this one. Move to another implementation. Um, and do make docker. So this will run the same steps uh, for our echo application, uh, which will be first, as you can see, we already have this vendor file, a uh, vendor folder with all dependencies, uh, one of them being our own package, uh, this package implementation here. Um, then when we will have a docker step um, here, um using docker file of course so and we will when we will do go copy uh, it will um already have this vendor file uh, folder and during the installation we will have everything uh, present in our uh, container and as we can see here it's already running um so we are building and then we are running this application. So in terms of um, API wise, the, these applications are very same. So I can just rerun the same uh, curl. Uh, now we are getting it from, from another uh, application, echo application. So this is what I wanted to show um, by, by combining Go mode replace and uh, Go mode uh, vendor, uh, we can actually run um, this kind of applications in container. Uh, without being like without needing to like restructure our docker file or, or, or our like repository structure.